Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I have this pattern to show you and this is one of my favorite patterns. So you can see here how we have kind of um, a knitted look even though we're crocheting. And you can see how the rows pop up. So these little V structures or the stitches and they pop up from both sides. So if I turn it the other way around, you can see the same effect. So this way you can kind of bake um, knit while you're crocheting if you're more, more of a crocheting person like I am. So if you want to see how you can do this, stay tuned, I'll show you right away. Okay, so here is my ball of yarn. You can use pretty much anything. I like this color, so I wanted to use it today. And yeah, let's start with a slip slip knot as always. I always want to say slip stitch, but that's a different thing. Okay, we can move this out of the way and get started. So you can do as many stitches as you want, or as many chains here. Five. Ten. Thirteen. And fifteen. I think this is enough to show you the pattern so that you can see the effect nicely. Okay, so we're doing two more chains for the height and then what we're going to do is take the yarn over and go into the third chain from the hook. And then we're going to take the thread through and then through all three. So we're doing half trebles today instead of trebles that you may be more familiar with. And then again, yarn over and we go through all three at once and that's it. And we're going to keep doing one treble or one half treble per each chain that we see. Okay, so here I am at the beginning. You can see the beginning thread here. Here is the row that we just did. Now we're going to do, do two chains for the height. Turn around and now we're going to do these top sections. But what we're going to do this time differently than what we usually do is do just one half of these. So we're not going to do the entire V section. So what I mean by that is as you know, if you've done crocheting projects before, you basically go through both like this. So through both halves of the V on top of each stitch. But this time we want it kind of in the front. So in order to achieve that, so that this little section kind of pops out, what we're going to do is go in there. So yarn over again, go through there. So basically this diagonal line underneath the top section of each stitch and always the yarn over, we're again doing half trebles. And if I zoom in, you can see here the top section actually remains untouched and we just keep going here in this side section. Thank you. 
So this was the back and here or you can see the front and that's exactly the effect that we want. So basically our top section of the stitch switches to the side. And I'm going to continue the same way so that I can finish this row. Here the front and the back, you can see what it looks like after I've done the entire row. And now we'll do the very last one and do this last section and then we have the entire row done. And we can start a new one. So two chains for the height again and we're going to turn so that our pop up um, section is in the front now and we'll continue the exact same way as before. So again, this diagonal line and keep working on half trebles in that section. And we're starting this pop-up section on the other side too. Here is a little update for you. So I've done several more rows and you can see here what this looks like. I have three stripes here on this side and just two on the other one. So the next row would do the third one on that side. But this is the pattern itself. I love the way this looks and it really does give a zigzaggy or wavy style when you look at it from this side. And I think it gives a wonderful texture to the entire project. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. It's actually super easy and you can do so many different things with this um, pattern and it's currently my favorite one to work with. So you can see here what it is like and yeah, you basically always get the same thing. You get these um, stripes or ribs in the front that kind of make it look um, really, really cool and just give it a little bit more depth. So yeah, let me know what you would use this for and if you enjoyed, you can let us know by shooting the thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel and if you do, don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we post something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!